Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. Thank you for stopping by. I'm deeply grateful always. Let me start with macro thoughts. Brent uh, for August settlement uh, added 2.8% uh, uh, and actually jumped as much as 4.5% in the early hours. Um, and having closed down 3.7% the day before. And the reason for that is entirely this report that the Euro you started off with a UK Maritime Safety Group warning of an unspecified incident in the Gulf of Oman, urging extreme caution amid, amid US-Iranian tensions. Uh, two, uh, they're not oil tankers, they're oil derivative uh, tankers, and uh, one apparently was sunk, um, it seems. Uh, crude oil, have a look at this three-day chart to get a feeling of, of the reaction. We're currently up about 3% in WTI. Saudi Arabia stoked the fire, says that Iran is spreading chaos, death and destruction. And I wrote about the situation in May, on the 13th of May to be precise, when I said no number of Trump tweets will dampen the price and that Iranians will surely manage to shutter the Straits of Hormuz even if after an asymmetric fashion in the Gulf of Oman, the East-West pipeline is essentially that exactly what I was talking about. So very volatile environment. Um, this was also on the occasion of Shinzo Abe's visit to, the, to Iran, and I'll touch on that momentarily. Uh, Federal Reserve, it's now looking as if it's a racing certainty, well at least the markets think so, that the Federal Reserve will cut as early as July, and this is from J.S. Blockland. Zero Hedge tweeted, Chinese consumer prices rose, this was mainly due to sick pigs, does this matter? It matters if you're a Chinese pig, said UBS. And it's caused an enormous furore on the online uh, Chinese media.